Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is about the continuation series of Pega Portal Customization Part 2. In the previous video, I discussed about what is harness, what is the use of harness, and what is the importance of harness in the portal. If you don't watch that series part 1 and 2, please watch it first and come to this video. Why? Because you can't understand anything what I'm teaching in this video. In this particular video, I'm going to explain the real-time application that is redbus.in. So I'm going to create as it is user interface in the Pega by using a portal interface. Okay, just go to App Studio and create a portal and go to channels and click on the portal. And I'm giving the name as Redbus. Click on submit and I am deleting this explorer reports spaces and dashboard and click on save. When I click on save, Pega creates those rules in the UA pages as well as data pages. Okay. Just go to the dev studio. and launch the user port sorry red bus portal and we have to customize this portal in this real time red bus application okay just click on live section ui and open the harness that is red bus it will open in the dev studio just go to the dev studio And this is the harness out of the box generated by the Pega. And just double click on this area and open the section called Red Bus. And just double click on this harness and open the harness called Home. And you have to save as this harness. Why? Because we cannot customize this harness. Why? Because it is a private edit from the theme cosmos. And click on save as. And I am giving the name as home one. Create and open. The instance is already exist. I think I am already created home two. Okay, then you can customize just double click on this uh, if you want this as this pega if, if you can and if you want to change this matter just double click on this and go to this respective section and this is also provided you have to save as then give the name as home main to just create an open So it's generating a rule. Convert to full section editor. Click on submit. And I'm clearing all these. I don't want this UI. I'm only giving the button here. Go to actions and button. Just double click on this button. Both bus. Presentation strong and action click and add an action. Sorry, event is click and the action is create work. In the get work area, you can find the create work. You should give the class name. My class name is org. Org my app work ticket booking and you should submit save
I am going to go back to the back rule that is home to. You should call the home to rule in the home main to rule. And I am calling the home main to rule in the home to rule. Then click on submit. And save. And go back to this red bus. That is harness. You should call the home to rule in this harness. Don't confuse. Please go back as a, as early as I tried forward. Okay, and just go back to this one, and you have to save this red bus only. Just click on submit and click on save. It will take some time. Click on actions and refresh. Then you can observe there is a change of main content. Just click on save again and just reopen your portal that is Redbus. And here is our customized content. So the case instance is created in the portal only without any creation of pop-up with the case instance and without any creation of case instance in the dev studio. As you see in my previous video that is part 2 video when I click on the button and the case is creating in the dev studio and if I clear all the tabs in the dev studio when I click on that button and the case instance in the pop-up window there is a created. But in this scenario, I don't remove any harness in the portal. So that's why when I click on that particular button, the case is creating in the portal itself. So my next step is to customize the portal like this. First, I'm going to customize the header and go to the header area. And in this situation, so many people are thinking like the header is this one only. So this is not our header. Go to this particular home main to sorry home to and this is our header we have to customize this header okay just double click on this and go to this <laughs> and click on save as and red bus header i am naming it as red bus header and just create an open and I don't want this just delete 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 and I have to call this red bus icon so I have to put some pictures data display image so first of all, I have to do this some um, the dynamic inline grid dribble presentation. Sorry, in the general layouts, inline grid dribble submit. I have to call the dynamic layout and the dynamic layout. Okay, and I'm calling the picture. Okay, here also I have to display three uh, two icons. So here also I'm using pictures only. Uh, first we have to change this inline grid. Inline grid. Table. Submit. And I'm calling a dynamic layout. Why I'm using multiple dynamic layouts means uh, I'm spamming the area because there is no spacing between the two icons so that's why i'm using to decrease the space between the two icons i'm using dynamic layouts or you can use labels uh, you can write you can write visibility condition to visibility never okay i'm taking the pictures that is two pictures and so i have to import some images just go to technical and binary file 
and click on create add this icon and the directory is webwb and it's in the format of i think it's in the format of png so i have to give it as png let's create and open and click on upload file choose files go to my desktop and click on the red bus icon upload file and click on save it will displace the icon just copy this path that is id and go to our respective section that is red bus header and just double click on this image and here the icon source is image and copy your path you have to modify this path please remove these spaces and give dot and please remove these places and give the slash you have to customize I think the width is uh, 100 and the height should be 75 I think so click on submit then you can find this red bus like this only okay similar to this you have to implement these two icons so i implemented these two icons and i put the icon size as 30 into 30 and just go back to this home and click on save this rule and just go back to the home tool and give the rule name that is the rule name is red bus header just copy this id and go to home to and you have to give the name here and click on submit and click on save actions and preview so the icons is there but the background is not the white background if you want to look it as the white background just double click on this dynamic layout and go to the container format that is default and click on submit then you can see the background is the white and click on save then go to actions and preview then you can see the white background as it is in the red bus in the red bus also there is a same background and that's all for this video guys if you have any doubts please comment below and if you understand this video please give me one like and share to your pegamates in the next video i'm going to modify this main area that is when you enter in the portal that is from rajmandri to hyderabad and search button the case will be automatically runs by taking the parameters i'm going to discuss in the next video and stay tuned guys please subscribe to my channel bye bye